Many tourists head for Tunisia's popular beaches, uh, but visitors to the city of Eriath on the island of Jerba in Tunisia say they come in search of a unique landscape, the town's outdoor street art museum. Viewers Laura Bowman has more. The walls of this old city have come to life. Ariad on the island of Jerba in Tunisia has turned itself into an outdoor street art museum. Mekdi bin Sheikh organized the massive street art project. It was an international effort. My goal was to give to street art, to try to make something new with the collaboration of artists. I know it's very pretentious of me to say this, to make them enjoy the architecture, the domes. Secondly, we are trying to talk about Tunisia in another way. Jerba Hood has brought together 100 artists from 30 countries who have created 250 grand works of art. Artist Logan Hicks came from New York. He says he's been involved in similar projects, but nothing on this scale. They're using quite a few artists that, that are receptive to the culture, opening up a dialogue with the community as opposed to coming in and putting their stamp on something that doesn't really have anything to do with the community. Jerba Hood officially opened on September 20th, but already the art has changed the city, both aesthetically and economically. Ariad was known for its position on the road to Griba, the oldest synagogue in Africa. But the street art fans are a fresh sight for local businesses, says this shop owner. With regard to the season this year, it's been really good. The paintings have brought trade, tourists, and new faces, people we did not see before in Ariad. What is interesting is that the paintings are well dispersed and not concentrated in a particular street. On some older walls or canvases, the paint will deteriorate and need replacing. But for the organizers, even that represents the essence of street art. It's always a work in progress. Laurel Bowman for VOA News. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Good night.